explain what they wanted, and we would try to figure out a way to help them achieve that if possible. And so, but I think one of the benefits that we that we gain from this event is, I think, through these forums that the ACLU has hosted, I think that there's hopefully going to be a closer relationship moving forward, whether it relates to cameras, whether it relates to other issues that Tampa may, may face going forward, where we've sort of established now a very good working relationship between the, the city and, and government and, and the ACLU and, and other interested citizens who are trying to make sure their First Amendment rights are, are being you know, respected and exercised, and although we're not going to always agree on everything, having the dialogue I think is very important, and I think we've, we've shown that through this process. And, um, even though there were some challenges, and, and you know, everything that you said was clearly from, from your all's perspective, that's, that's the way you saw it. But you know, I think having this dialogue is, is still very healthy. I have more cards. You're going to have to take my word for it that I am mentioned in the first card I got. It's not self-promotion by including me in the question. I promise. Um, but I'll ask the first part. What happen What happens to the cameras if and when they're removed? I guess the first question. And that's not to me. I promise, because I don't know the answer. Well, I mean, we'd have to look at it from a fiscally responsible perspective. I mean, they were purchased through a grant to provide extraordinary security to the national security special event. So, um, you know, they're, the, they're financed and maintained and serviced for, I believe, a year. Um, if they were taken down, then we would have to obviously speak to the federal government about our responsibilities. And this one is to me, the second half of this question. Professor V, is there a right to privacy on a public street? And I don't want to put Rebecca on the spot, but she's been better at this than me um, throughout this process. My answer to my students would be no. And I would try very hard to make that the whole answer, so I didn't have to get more complicated than that. Um, generally speaking, I think the answer is no, but if the city expert would like to comment, you are welcome to. Good. <laughs> may, may I offer a different uh, point of view, or at least yeah. a more nuanced one? Yeah, please. Um, so, uh, right. Save me. They did not have electronic surveillance in, in, in 1789, so the drafters of the uh, Fourth Amendment weren't able to address whether or not they wanted uh, um, government surveillance uh, of the manner of which we are capable now. I'm fairly confident, though, that they would have said that they don't want people to be monitored by, by remotely